Okay, here is a problem that my students were telling me they struggled with last night on their homework, and so I'm going to demonstrate how to solve it. It says, use the properties of multiplication to simplify the expression, and it says show your work. Okay, <clears throat> I'm going to use what I know about the uh, properties of multiplication to solve this, to uh, simplify this expression. Now, I see that it gives us 4j times 1 and a half, or 1 and 5 tenths, times 30j. Now, the very first thing that I want to do is I want to move some of those around just to make it easier for me to solve. So if I move 4j times 30j times 1.5, or 1 and a half, I'm not changing the product at all. The product will be the same as if I started out 4j times 1 and a half, then times about 30j. But sometimes it's easier to do a lot of these steps mentally. I am showing my work, but I'm going to do a bunch of it, a bunch of it mentally. If I use a property that allows me to move those factors around. Now, what property allows us to move factors around without affecting the product? Okay, I see a lot of hands up. Merle. Commutative. The commutative property. So, I'm going to say 4j times 30j equals, help me out children, what do you think? What do you think? Okay, I had a kid say 120j, but let me ask you this. If that's true, and I'm going to write commutative property here. If that's true, then let's look at it this way. 4 times j times 30 times j times 1.5. I can move that around again, just like the commutative property, but I'm going to do something here. I'm going to change the grouping and make the associative property come into play. 4 times 30 times, and then j times j, and then times 1.5. I was not planning on using the associative property where I do a grouping like this. I wasn't planning on doing that, but when I heard a kid say that 4j times 30j is 120j, we're forgetting something, okay? And this is what I want to point out. 4 times 30, I agree, that is 120. But j times j, j times itself. Anytime you have a value multiplying itself, another way to put that is not just j, but Logan Wayne. Okay, no, no, bless your heart, young man. It's not one. I'm, I'm thinking you're getting something confused with coefficients. You're thinking that j by itself is understood to have a coefficient of one. But no, that's not what we're talking about here. We're not worrying about coefficients. We're worrying about what do you get when you have j times itself, uh, as seen here, j, j. j times j. All right, Ethan Day. J squared. j squared. So that's j squared, or j to the second period. To the second, not second period, I'm sorry. To the, to the second power. To the second power. All right, so now we got 120 times j squared. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to hold off on multiplying it by that. I'm going to use the commutative property again. 120 times 1.5, 1 1.5 times j squared. So I'll use the commutative property again. And I wasn't even planning on doing this many steps. I was planning on just going ahead and saying 4j times 30j is 120j squared times 1.5. But to show that j times itself equals j squared, I'm doing all these extra steps. Now if I have 120 times 1 and a half times 1 and a half, well, I'm just going to go ahead and use my calculator on that. Uh, when you take the K prep at the end of your kids, you will be able to use the calculators on some items. So I'm just going to go ahead and show this one. I'm going to go ahead and say 120 times 1.5. And I made an error there. And it gives us 180. And that makes sense to me because 120 times 1 is 120. And then half of 120 is 60. So 120 plus 60, sure enough, would be 180. So that makes sense to me. So I have 180 
and then I times it with j squared, I'm going to wind up with 180 j squared. So my final answer is this. Now children, I went through a lot of steps there that I could have left out, but I want to make sure that you all realize j times j is j squared. So that's why I threw in that associative uh, property too, which is all right, which is all right. How many of you worked this out on your own and you got 180 j squared, boys and girls? How many? Okay, how many of you see how I did it now? Okay, the little fella who popped up 120J a minute ago. Young man, do you now understand that when you have a variable times a vet, the same variable is going to be squared, right? All right, good job, good job. We're not mad at you or anything, good job. All right, 